Life space entities are gathering at the bottom of the sea. We speculate that there's an abyss current opened up by the Hive Mother there. It may be difficult for our current forces to fight against such a huge number of Grayspace entities. That's why we're here. There are serious threats to Vera and the safety of Domain 9. If we can defeat those things, we will alleviate the crisis faced by Domain 9. At the same time, we will gain a deeper understanding of Grayspace entities' behavioral motives. They can't be allowed to make waves on the seafloor. That would put Inners in great danger. We can help you stop them! Mm. Lucius, adjust Inner's defense plan. Concentrate our forces inside the city of Inner's and ensure that the residents are safe at all costs. Roy, you'll take over Glenn's duties for the time being. We need to quickly restore communications with Mororia to inform Archon Larson of the crisis faced by Inner's as soon as possible. Wan Ling now has the highest authority in Inners for now. I'll leave Inners in your hands. Madam Fiona! Let's go, Lin. The gray space entities dispersed after we tracked them here. Although I really want to wipe them out, let's focus our combat strength on a worthier place for now. Can Shirley detect the gray space entity signals of abyssin? If it's possible to detect the existence of abyssin, it might be possible to locate where abyss currents are. It's possible. Let me try it out. Hmm. The signal is very weak. Found it. Why does it seem like there are two different signals? It should be very difficult for reinforcements to reach even deeper into the Grand Sea. These gray space entities have left us with no way out. Our only option is to destroy them to protect the residents of Inners, Mororia, and even all of Ida. No matter how difficult the battles are, no matter what lies ahead, we must fight. We can only fight until the storm ends. I'm honored to fight side by side with you.
Basically, the inspection route is in line with Mr. Lucius's arrangement, so there shouldn't be any mistakes. Try and re-establish communication, and protect Inners. Understood, Madam Fiona. This current is in the air. Everyone, it's a problem! It noticed us! Let's finish it off swiftly before it can react. Don't let it delay us. Finding the abyss current is our priority. <laughs> Anyone wounded? I'm, I'm fine. 
I never would have imagined the existence of a great space in the sea with such a wonderful ability. Interesting. Miss Shirley, please help us locate the other abyssant again. Yes. It is going even deeper. Come on, let's go. Wan Ling, have communications been restored with Miroria? Sorry, Madam Fiona. Not yet. I know. We're very close to the Abyss Current now. We have to stop these Grey Space Entities and close this Abyss Current as soon as possible. the abyss current on the island. It seems that this abyss current has a much greater carrying capacity. Is it possible that this is the main path opened up by the Hive Mother? Distract us with a smaller abyss current giving them time to develop and operate the undersea abyss current. What a devious idea! We'll soon wipe that smug look from their faces. Is it... Trying to enter the Abyss Current? We can't let it succeed!
Everyone, the communications between Meroria and Inners have been restored. Archon Larson is now aware of the crisis Vera is facing, and will send more people here to provide support. Our defenses aren't capable of dealing with such a huge group of Grayspace entities. Yes. Archon Larson also informed Archon Elric of Hycros District 9 about the situation here. Other executors from District 9 will also travel to Inners via the Long Range Space Rift and fight with us. I've arranged for them to set the Space Rift beacon here. This way, we'll be able to deploy reinforcements immediately when they arrive. I understand. However, our contact with Icarus and the others still hasn't been restored. Is it possible that their battle with the Grayspace entities hasn't ended yet? I'll go over to Conroe and Icarus to see what they're up to. Maybe I can help them and let them know what's happening here. Thanks, Miss Lon. We'll guard this place until the Space Rift Beacon is set. I can hear you. Go ahead. A large number of gray space entities are blocking our reinforcements. We'll take care of them and head to your location as fast as possible. Please hold out until then. Of course. We'll handle it. Establishing anchor point. The Grayspace entities are gathering here. We have to keep them from entering the Abyss Current. to the Space Rift channel. are opening. The Abyssant has summoned a large number of gray space entities. We have to hold out until reinforcements arrive. Ah! <laughs> 
Space-time here is unstable. The timestamp can't close the Abyss Current. Of course it couldn't be that easy. At least we've already taken care of most of the darkness. The pressure from both sides should be substantially less. Looks like the two of you have run into some trouble. Is there anything I can do to help? We're trying to close this Abyss Current, but with this present situation... Abyss current? Using that thing? Yes. It's called a time stamp. It can pacify abyss currents opened by gray space entities and restore distorted space times to their original state. <laughs> At least that's what it's meant to do. We'll discuss matters related to the seafloor abyss currents with Archon Larson later. And this intel we've gathered will be helpful to Dr. Clyde's research on gray space entities. Perhaps, in the future, they'll be able to extract more useful information from it. We'll need more time before we'll be able to completely pacify this storm. I'll post a tight guard over this abyss current. No great space entities will be allowed to cross through here. Regarding other plans, we'll decide after discussing the situation in Inners. Of course, this crisis isn't over. This wasn't part of the plan. I'll be sure to report on your selfishness to the Sage. Hey, 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 why are you so serious all the time, beloved sister? Everything has to be done exactly according to plan. I don't remember you being so old-fashioned. Not to mention, shouldn't you be excited to see so many old friends? Old friends? Ha! Huh. You truly are well-connected. You two again. Come on. Well, if it isn't Sage's proudest creation. I trust you've been well, Nemesis. And you, kid. You put up a good fight just now. Why are you here? Oh, you weren't expecting us? The Grey Space entities have done damage to more than just the Vera region. We always keep close tabs on any changes that could harm this planet. The heirs of Ida won't just sit on our hands while the Grey Space entities invade. We'll intervene when the time comes. I never thought there would be anything the great executors of Hycros can't handle. <laughs> what is it that you need? Aegis. We have a common goal now, and need to set aside our past differences. But that doesn't necessarily mean the heirs of Ida and Hycros are on the same side now. Alright, alright. I've heard the same thing from you before. Looks like I'll have to get my kicks somewhere else. You're always so patient with those two. Looks like number one was right. Huh. <laughs> Only because you speak so much hot air around them. Our cooperation ends here. The rest you'll have to handle yourself. Time to go. So eager to part ways. <clears throat> I wanted to get in a spar. I didn't see anything too special from your end during that battle. Are you holding back? How about the young lady and I have a duel? What a coincidence! I was thinking the same thing! Hmm, that won't work. I don't think you'll be enough on your own. Why don't the two of you come at me? Samir, why do I always have to remind you to watch yourself? I know. <laughs> we'll take you up next time, Samir. Even though we didn't stay here long, thank you for your hospitality. Please? Until next time, Nemesis. However, maybe next time it won't be a crisis. Then, thank you. The Sage is playing the long game. I look forward to his next move.
Long distance space rifts are operational again. We'll head back to Mororia and report to Archon Larson on recent developments. What will Inners do for the time being? Reinforcements for our executors are already on their way to our outposts. I believe that inner safety has been secured. Fiona will protect this place. We'll discuss our plans once Archon Larson is debriefed on the situation here. Uh-huh. And Ruby, too. We lost contact with her for so long. Surely she must be worried? We should go see her. Indeed. It has been a while since I told her a bedtime story. I'll tell her about this place. Mr. Cowell. All is well. Miss Lynn, ex- Yes. Does Archon Larson have a moment? See you tomorrow. All of a sudden, so many things happened lately. <sighs> sure enough, I still care a great deal about the Angels of Clemency. They seem to know everything on Vera's side. How do they do it? Revealing this without any scruples shows your confidence in it. Um, 
I care a lot about myself. Could it be... After all, they're always talking about the works of the Sage and things like that. Don't worry. Didn't you perform a thorough check in Hykros? Everything will be okay. As I've mentioned before, they've been watching Vera. If there really are heirs of Ida forces in Vera, they would have reached here long before us. I'm sure Archon Larson and his aides will make a wise decision regarding this. Uh huh? All in all, I am very happy to see the two parties united by a common goal, and I hope for the best for the future. When you put it that way, I feel a little relieved. You must be tired. Get some rest tonight. Okay. Welcome, honorable guests from Domain 9. I am Archon Larson of District 7. Archon Larson, it's an honor to meet you. Miss Long, the Vera Legion and Domain 9 are both affected by Grey Space entities. For this, we have the same target and goal. If we are willing to share what we know, our fight against those Grey Space entities will be more efficient. Can't agree more, Archon Larson. The information Vera has gathered is very important. Based on the findings of this trip, we are now certain that the disconnection between Maroria and Inners was premeditated and carefully calculated by Grayspace entities. The Disguiser lurking in Inners assisted a group of Grayspace entities in accumulating power. Their goal was the subsequent Abyss Current. It's not yet clear exactly how the Abyss Current was formed, or how it works, but so far, it appears to be an entrance to another plane, through which those Grey Space entities attempted to penetrate Domain 9. We have removed most of the Grey Space entities, but this can only delay their operation. We must close the Abyss Current to solve this crisis. However, we haven't found any effective solution. 
The Abyss Current is a fairly common occurrence in Domain 9. It's a distorted space-time area caused by the powers of Grayspace entities. Usually, such a current would disappear on its own once the order is restored in the concerned space-time. A timestamp can be used to locate a relatively stable spot in the distorted space-time, which will be the starting point for settling the area. Conroe and I tried to close this abyss current with a timestamp, but the space-time distortion was so great that the timestamp did little. I've assigned a team to study the abyss current under the Grand Sea. Once we have more information, we should be able to figure out how to close it. Lynn, take charge of the underwater abyss current. That's it for today. Miss Lon, I'd love to hear more about Domain 9. Yes, I'll be on call at all times. find a way soon to close the abyss current. Dr. Clive and his team are working on it. Until then, be patient. Let's go. Time for a rest. Over the old mirror coin, Dr. Burr. So, between the mirror, the mirror coin ones, there's four of them. You gotta go between those four, and then the old mirror coin ones. There are two of them, so we got to go between those two, and then you just got to pick whichever ones, you know, take priority. Now, if you're, now, if you want to know 
what I say as far as that. Um, there's all four of these, but the biggest one that you know that you should prioritize over all of them is the Samir Gacha Plan. Now, the reason why is because uh, Samir Matrix is one of the one of two in-game matrix that you're going to be using for in-game players. And if you're a player licensed for someone that doesn't set up the matrix, Samir Matrix. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest.
Looking for me? <laughs> Looking for me? Thank <laughs> you. 
the most damage and the most damage Thank <laughs> you. 
Master, you said standing like Master, you said standing like this looks better. Master, you said standing like this looks better. Master, you said standing like this looks better.
Master, you said standing like this looks better. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time for a rest.
giving up my cocoa though. Like, for a rest. Frey was cool. Frey got a bounce.
Master you said standing like this looks Master you said standing like Master you said Master you said standing like this looks
Let me see.
ready to get seriously high legally with Mood, now you can, and it can get delivered straight to your door. At Mood, you can order directly on... That was another tell fight that you can't do something for real. I would okay. Do that. So Crawford's calling everybody out from Tank at 135 to Canelo. He wants to fight Canelo Sharma a winner. Who wins that fight? What do you think about Crawford against the winner? Yeah, I would have put blood up there, but the numbers. That's true, yeah. 
you know, like, Gordon Peter, can I get some shit? Let me go block the water. And I made him for that fight. Did Donald look the way we thought he was looking for that fight? I guess the guy made him. See, Donald looked like he was looking for that fight. Donald looked like he was looking for that fight. Donald looked like he was looking for that fight. See, I know people yeah, yeah. when I study them. I know people who stay strong and just take chances and risk. Very good fighter, I'll check it. Remind me of Andre Ward with a little bigger. So Andre Ward beat you outside. You have to bring his face in and get down with your ass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we'll see. So, do you have anything coming up? Who do you have on the card? He has Truck Simpson. Anybody else coming? No, I got the two. 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 The Truck Simpson. 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 Experience. There's a kid in the gym with you. I heard he's turning pro in the part of uh, uh, Carmel. They take the next tank. You trying to compare him to Tanka? I told him he's the first Carmel. He's good. I wouldn't say he's tank. No, no, he's himself. He's the first himself. But Floyd wanted him to turn pro and fight for the championship. Right away. Why not? Why not? Lee Wood. Everybody. 126. Everybody has a no, Loma, Loma has to do one for right here. Did it though? In two fights, yeah. So, the fight came. Did you do it? it, it it's like I said, I just tell him about it. Box came rap. Box came rap. So he's turning from a Canelo Charlo card. I think that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. The kid's gifted. He's very gifted. Thank you for your service. No, no, no. That's a new card. I like it. Who gets this fighting uh, warrior? Come on. Shoot. that this is the perfect time for him because they feel that Canelo might be slipping a little bit given his uh, fight with um, no 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 the uh, John Ryder in Mexico where he didn't look that great well he didn't look that great against John Ryder but you gotta understand he knew what John Ryder was just like we knew what John Ryder was he knew what Charlo is just like we know what Charlo is when you playing the Golden State Warriors is one thing when you playing a lesser team Orlando Magic right now who it really ain't came around yet it's a different game. So you don't move to the Orlando Magic in the sense not right now. Because Orlando Magic has proven himself to be that vulnerable yet. So if they prove themselves to be that vulnerable, then you will but go to state. You know right now as a 
championship caliber team. You go see Golden State, you got to be ready. So when he went to see Ryder, he like, oh, this is just Orlando Magic. But when he go see Charlo, this ain't Orlando Magic. He got the same belt that I left in the beginning. You understand me? So I better be ready. Overall, now that it's been a week, we've had a chance to see replays, kind of, you know, think about what happened. What's the, the biggest takeaways for you as both fighter and trainer that you had from that fight? Uh, three takeaways. A, Bud Crawford's been looking for a name to solidify itself at the top of the pound for pound list for at least five years now. Uh, Errol Spence was that name. Unfortunately for Errol Spence, he had a car wreck that he got thrown from the vehicle doing an uh, access of 100 miles per hour. And to come back from that is almost like coming back According from to Mook Squad's so report, gray space entities have become active again recently, causing the area around the abyss current to lose stability quickly. We haven't confirmed the causes of these changes, but this is definitely of great urgency. With all due respect, Conro and I are very concerned about the changes in the abyss current. We also tried to help improve dimensional stability of the surrounding areas through a timestamp. However, it came to our attention that the space-time fluctuation there was aligned with the abyss current. To put it another way, those areas may become abyss currents at any time, and this expansion will continue. If the abyss current can't be pacified completely, the entire underwater world would become part of a massive abyss current one day in the worst scenario. Before the situation gets worse, we must find a way to control the abyss current once and for all. However, leave the job of stabilizing the space-time around the abyss current to us, Fiona. We have developed a device capable of stabilizing space-time using the technology provided by District 9. We hope this can hinder the Abyss Current's expansion for some time. Dr. Robilia has some unique opinions on how to close the Abyss Current. Miss Lon, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Lyra, the Special Counsel of District 7. I'm here to assist with the Underwater Abyss Current. The pleasure is mine, Miss Lyra. And this is... My name is Rubilia. Pleased to meet you, Miss Lan. Dr. Rubilia is an expert in gray space entities and has made great achievements in many fields. It seems the doctor has had some unusual experiences in the past. Indeed, I had some very unusual experiences in the past, which have given me a better understanding of gray space entities. The intelligence I have acquired is of such great importance that how I exist matters little. I can't deny that, but the doctor's words are trustworthy. And I believe the following information provided by the doctor can testify to her position. We have developed some protective gear to conceal the doctor's breath. This allows her to move freely within a certain range without being detected by gray space entities. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, let's hear what the doctor has to say. I was told that Miss Lan and your party broke through the barrier into Vera through a device called the Timestamp. Yes. A timestamp can adjust space-time fluctuations, either distorting it further or restoring its original form. We closed the Abyss Current at Somerset Isle by correcting the order of the space-time using a timestamp. I see. Is the timestamp probably related to the Black Stone in any way? Their materials seem very similar. The Doctor is referring to the Black Stones widely distributed in the Confounding Abyss, which is an expansive underground space where the law of materials is way beyond our knowledge. Evidence suggests that it was the ruins of some alien civilization. Unfortunately, we don't know much about the ruins or the Black Stones. The timestamp sounds very similar to these Black Stones. It's safe to presume that Domain 9 also has access to Blackstones, and perhaps a better understanding of this material. Blackstones? Let me think. The Doctor must be talking about the Black Jade, which can affect the stability of space-time. We made the time stamp out of it to make better use of it. The Black Jade is indeed a product of another civilization. During our confrontation with Grayspace entities, 
We gradually gained a better understanding of the civilization, but our knowledge is still limited. If more information could be obtained on that intelligent civilization, we would definitely have a better chance against gray space entities. And vice versa. It was exactly why we ventured out into the outside world this time. Space-time was disturbed by this abyss current, which presented us with an opportunity. So we opened a path with a timestamp and followed those gray space entities into Vera. What Miss Lan just said seems relevant to some of the shattered leads in my head. I'm comfortable making some guesses. The Abyssin can exert influence on the space-time barrier of Domain 9 through its field ability. It can call more gray space entities via the Abyss current. This is consistent with the information I've acquired from the Hive Consciousness, which gives me reason to believe that it is responsible for the Abyss Current. Close with a time wait, stamp. But the Watch situation underwater is quite different. I'm afraid the abyss current is not the only thing that interferes with that sector. I suspect that the space time there may have always been unstable, and gray space entities are using this to their advantage. The time stamp alone can't change the space time shaped by these two forces. So another cause of this space time's instability becomes a key breakthrough point for us. There's another force that is affecting space-time? What could it be? I'm not sure. It could be a hidden abyssant, undiscovered black stone ruins, or something completely beyond our knowledge. Obviously, the potential risk is unpredictable, but we don't have a safer choice here. How exactly does the Doctor plan to identify this cause? I will try to make an impact on the entire area, by leading the energy inside the Abyss Current with the abilities of Gray Space Entities. If my conjecture is correct, this cause, affected by the flow of energy, would produce an abnormal space-time fluctuation. Miss Lyra will have gear set up to detect its location. Okay, prepare for departure.
Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
time for a rest. for a rest. for a rest.
for a rest.
Time for a rest.
for a rest. What the, what the, what the, what was that? Goofy.
I can feel the surge of energy inside the abyss current. And the Hive Mother has grown more frantic, running out of patience with the current situation. It's anxiously waiting for the offspring to come to its rescue via the abyss current. We don't have much time. Are you ready? I'm ready. Once the channel is removed, those gray space entities will be aware of my presence immediately. We will keep you safe. Okay, let's begin. Hmm. Rubilia, how do you feel now? Uh, I'm okay. Don't worry. It worked. Next we wait to hear from Miss Lyra.
Lyra, we've arrived at the entrance to the target location. It appears to be an abnormal space that reminds me of the confounding abyss. Roger that. Go ahead and explore the surrounding area. The tech department is keeping a close eye on you. Is it really the Blackstone Ruins? I didn't receive any relevant reports. This is indeed a result of that space-time fluctuation. If these ruins are similar in nature to the Confounding Abyss, we must be extra careful. A small mistake could lead to a replay of the tragic past. Moreover, the extent of the space-time fluctuation's impact on the Grand Sea is not yet clear. Inspections and evaluations must be carried out immediately to reveal and eliminate hidden dangers. Understood. We got this. I believe our timestamp could help with the Blackstone Ruins. Let me give it a try. Hello? The communication signal was compromised for unknown reasons just now. You were on and off. How is everything? Ms. Lan has unlocked the Blackstone Ruins using a timestamp. We are going to investigate. The signal fluctuation might be a result of its interference, which means you've successfully activated the entrance to the ruins. Once inside the ruins, you might lose contact with us. Be very careful. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. Blackstone ruins. Another force that affects space-time stability. Let's uncover the mystery! Lyra? Lyra? Communication is cut off. The sensor devices we have brought here seem to be malfunctioning. The laws followed here are far beyond our understanding. I kind of expected the instruments to malfunction. I don't feel Grayspace entities. We are safe here for now. Let's stay close to one another and advance carefully. about it other than some preliminary speculations. Some ruins in Domain 9 have been damaged. The device might be malfunctioning as a result. The timestamp is resonating with this device? The Blackstone ruins in Vera and Domain 9. I knew it. We might be able to make some further discoveries about it here. Look! The things up ahead! Are those... images of us? Move closer for a better look. It looks like a mirror, but it doesn't reflect what we do. Hmm... Shall we imitate their actions? Or should I say... ours? Let's try it out!
kept a full record of our movements since we entered Blackstone Ruins, which might be a cue. The image in front of us echoes it from afar. This might be us in the future. So the ones in front of us are from the future, while the ones behind us are from the past. And those in the middle are us at present? If the present us imitates the actions of the future us, then the future in the mirror will become the future in reality. This seems to make sense, but I'm already lost. Incredible. They may have invented some device to record our past, but how exactly would they show us our future? This might be the result of space-time's instability. The so-called past, present, and future are likely coexisting here. To answer whys and hows might be beyond our ability, but we can give it a try based on our conjectures. Hmm. We might be able to move forward by imitating the future us. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest.
Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Time for a rest. Time for a rest.
Time for a rest. Hey, what's up? What's up? Like, 